What's up everybody? Welcome back to another SLA video. Okay guys, we keep getting the most common question is, Payne, what SSR weapon should I craft for my hunters? So I made a whole SSR video on how to craft them, where to get the material. So if you need to check that out, I'll put that link in the video in the description as well too, so you can go check that out. Just the basics. Right now we're gonna actually go through which ones you wanna craft. Now if you haven't checked it out before, I do on my channel, of course have myself the weapon tier list so if you just search weapon on my channel here you guys will find a weapon tier list that does exist let me just quickly show you guys and it does go over all of the tiers of every weapon okay so one thing to note about this tier list it is a global tier list that i made for the best weapons and it does include the ssrs now i'm going to adjust this a little bit because this was a early tier list for you global players and there's a couple modifications and notes that i made for you in this video if you watch the whole thing i did mention the maturity of this video will change based on the maturity of global now that we're like what 20 days in whatever the case may be 18 19 days in uh, i think now we can talk to you guys more about specifically what weapons you want to use and that tier list will be updated on a monthly basis guys so you guys will get brand new rankings based on the maturity of where we are now as global players okay so i'm on my account right now and i'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about what weapons are going to be worth it which ones you want to focus on and which ones are going to be the best bang for your buck for characters and i'm going to do this through priority level so the first one first one priority wise cha Okay, we already have enough of these. Now, before I continue on with this, I do want to say this. My personal preference, because this is asked all the time, Payne, do I dupe or do I get new? I always say get new first. Get the SSR weapon for your characters first, especially the ones you plan to use. They're, they're all worth collecting. They're much better than the SR weapons, the, the SR versions of weapons. And I highly recommend at least getting a copy of each weapon, in my opinion. That's what I do. And that's how I, I run my account. Up to you how you want to do this. Now, the first weapon everybody should be focused on, if it's focusing on is Cha. If you've been playing since Cha's been out, you probably have three three copies of it at the very least. So you don't actually need to craft this because this system here exists for you to craft it, as well as a couple different events that, pro that provided that. Now, I made a full F2P video on how to get three copies of this if you were here from day one when Cha dropped. So that is still viable and you can do that. But if you are out of the if you if you just joined after Cha, then her weapon would be the first one I would recommend getting out of the way. So number one, Cha. Okay, the very, very important one. Number two, believe it or not, I put her in S tier for originally in the tier list for a reason, and I made that explanation very clear. Saw. Now, Saw, I said in the tier list that she's S tier for now for global players because you won't be able to build her as a proper crit build because most of you guys would not be farming correctly and would not have the gear to do so. But now that we're mature, I would put her at number two. And here's the reason why for number two for her is her weapon actually is incredible. And in if you do crit her, uh, build her crit, it has unlimited potential to do insane amounts of damage. So it increases the user user's critical hit damage by 5%. When you use any of these skills here, it also increases crit hit damage by 1%, stacking up to 20 times. If you look at it at a max level, you can increase it by 20% here with critical damage, and then you can increase critical hit damage by 6%, stacking up to 20 times, and also increases it. So this one here is actually one of the ones I recommend duping if you plan to use her full time, and she is one of the best characters in the game. So. Again, after you've done collecting the ones you need for your characters, this is the next one I recommend going up. So this is number two on my list of must have weapons for SSR characters. Okay, so this is a, a given, okay? Number three, this one is always a toss up for me. It's either between Emma or Min. So Min has a beautiful synergy with all characters. First off, it increases his HP by 2.5% or the user's HP, that one applies uh, to him specifically, but it also has HP up here, so it benefits him both ways. And then also when the user uses Heavenly Blessing, the user and the team members also deal an additional 4% damage for 16 seconds. Of course, when you max that, you get 16% more damage, which is insane. Plus you get the 10% bonus health for him, maxing out his damage a little further. Although he's not really meant there for damage, he does do a little bit more because of that. But that 16% there is insane. Of course, that's a max level. So even at 4% though, you guys can feel a little bit of a difference. And this one is worth it because it works on all fronts. It gives you guys a full range of damage increase for all units. Doesn't matter if they're attack spec, HP spec, or defense spec, everybody gets a full damage dealt up on that weapon. Okay, so very, very important one. And then of course there's Emma's here, who which I, which I really like as well too. First off, it increases the damage uh, dealt by breaks. Uh, which is incredible for her. And also when heat absorption activates, the user's damage dealt increases by 1.5%, stacking up to four times. Now, the reason why this one's important for her specifically is because she is used in battle of time uh, all everywhere, pretty much, right? So making her even stronger is gonna help you clear content even quicker. So Emma is a staple for battle of time uh, and pretty much a staple for any stage clearing. So if you're struggling with stages, 
her weapon will help you even clear them faster but i would say still go for min and then her is probably fourth so that'll be three and four and then i say choi fifth now the reason why choi fifth is because it increases his user attack by five percent so that's more damage for him and five percent is pretty hefty and then at the same time burn targets take uh sorry when attacking the targets with burn the he also decreases their damage further their defense further by seven percent for five seconds so you'll see a double stack of defense down when he does his qte for example right so this is great to have because it'll help you do more damage it'll help help him do more damage but where, why i don't put him up above everybody else is i use Choi mostly for bosses and not necessarily for stage clearing and battle of time sometimes he is used there depending on, on the actual bo uh, battle itself but his would be number five so it would go cha sa min emma Choi. so those are the top five right there okay from here on in, it's really up to you where you go. If you have SM Beck, if you're brand new, you probably didn't summon for him. His is actually really good. Increases his basic attack damage, and whenever his whenever the user basic attack hits, the damage to the current HP of the opponent, he does more damage to them. It's actually pretty hefty and does quite a bit. So this is actually a number six, I would say. Number seven here, um, it's it, this is a toss-up here between normal Beck, Lim, and uh, Libora. So... Lim is good because he does more dark damage. Beck is good because he does more light damage, right? So one way or another. And this one here, when using a basic attack within 10 seconds after using the quick attack Typhoon, it also increases his attack by 6% for 30 seconds, stacking up to two times. You can actually stack this up to eight times at max level. So this can be crazy, crazy good damage. Plus he's a breaker. So I do like his a little bit more than Beck's, but if you like using Beck as a breaker, his is not a bad option as well. So this is more light damage when attacking targets with the white flame, you increase the user's defense by 5%, essentially just making his defense stronger making him hit harder because he scales off of defense so i personally like limb and then back but it's up to you on that one and then i would go libora next now hers will change a little bit more uh once her foxes are, are kind of buffed which is going to be happening very soon but increases her attack by 2.5 percent making her obviously hit harder but right now because the foxes don't work well this doesn't really qualify that well targets hit by the user's strengthening charm have both the damage they take from critical hits and their chance of receiving critical damage by 2.5 percent so this is a really powerful one and also one that actually you know what i take this back this should actually take precedence over these two then the choice between limb and beck is up to you whichever one you use more beck or limb up to you totally both are breakers limb is a better dps beck is better for shredding and doing defense down so whatever one you want to use also obviously light and dark is going to make a big difference so go uh, Bo uh lee bora first and then those two okay now once you've completed that you've got two units left you've got dong su who i think is the better obviously choice between the wind units increases the wind damage also the basic attacks or basic seals he does uh increase by three percent when the impulsive revenge or madness is there and it stacks up to four times this can be pushed up to 15 times uh stacking so pretty pretty insane in terms of damage and then we have Wu here who also has a pretty decent weapon uh unfortunately he's still lacking a little bit in terms of dps but he is getting buffed so this one actually ignores two percent of the target's uh defense and then when meditation of powers use increases damage dealt to the target by five percent for three seconds stacking up to three times uh also can be pushed pretty heavily here up to 60 percent more damage dealt for three seconds mediation of powers you so pretty damn insane when you max it out but of course then you've got to max it out right that's that's kind of the caveat here so all in all guys let's do a quick little breakdown summary here so we go cha first second we go sa third we go um uh, min fourth emma fifth choi then beck then lee bora then i'd say between Beck and Lim, it's up to you on that one. Then we go Dong Su. And then lastly, we go Wu. There you go. That's the full list. All right, guys. This is Payne. If you have any comments or questions, let me know. Remember, this is just my preference. You can go whichever way you want. Some of these units you may not even have, but at least it gives you an idea of the pecking order that I believe, or the hierarchy that I believe that these guys should be organized in. Uh, but if you have any comments, again, any questions, let me know in the comment section. This is Payne. I will be doing a weapon tier list update very soon, as soon as Alicia drops, and we'll be probably, probably by then getting a brand new weapon as well too. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.